Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to do exactly what the title says. We're going to kill some shit. So here I am in a uh, nice uh, tier 4 little area, Broadwood it looks like. And as you can see those neutral quests I can't accept yet. And these um, crafting type quests I can't accept yet because my standing up there you see where it says uh, neutral. Um, I'm not uh, high enough uh, like I'm not like reputable enough but as you can see the fighting quests I've done a lot of these so I can actually accept um, these uh, quests because I am acknowledged so what we can do here is accept this quest which wants us to kill seven cursed deathmongers and then I get a reward um, of some royal sigils people always ask what do you do with royal sigils well when you get some you can use them to create this armor which is actually the type of robes that I have as I'm showing you right now so, for example, I would need to spend this much silver and 18 royal sigils to make a robe. Um, you can also, when you make it, you get to kind of choose your uh, your skills, your spells and abilities that you want on, the, uh, on your robe. You get a lot of options here. You can also um, craft some weapons. And, uh, yeah, every time you do a quest, you get some sigils, which can then be used um, to make some stuff. Or you can... Uh, Oh yeah, I also wanted to show that uh, you can't have two at the same time. You can only choose one at a time. But yeah, you get some sigils, you get some money, and you get some reputation points. As your reputation points... Uh, I don't actually know if they're called reputation points, but that's what I'm going to call them. Um, as you gain enough reputation points, you uh, you know you can move on to a higher tiered quest, basically, which offer better rewards and better areas. So I have been to this place once before, and um, it's pretty cool. They're like uh, they're these tier 4 skeleton... Uh, guys here so I'll show off some of my abilities some combat my guy's sort of like a holy priest and uh, if you didn't notice when I had my uh, my inventory open I have the, the tier 4 royal cloth armor and some tier 3 weapons so um, yeah let's go kill some of this stuff and uh, get a reward and uh, hope you guys uh, like this video so the you can see the the kind of the whole atmosphere starts getting sort of gloomy it's like shit's getting real now um, yep, as you can see, after I demount, all of my, uh, my abilities kind of go on cooldown, so I kind of want, I want to wait until I can use them all. So I get, uh, my Q, it's like my basic ability, it deals damage, it shoots a bolt, I got my Desperate Prayer, which heals me. E, I'll be using that at the beginning of each combat to speed up my abilities. I have a Magic Shield, uh, I have an Ice Block, which makes me immune, I can use that to dodge, uh, you know, big attacks. Uh, I can sprint to get away from, uh, an enemy. I have my mount, obviously, some food to replenish some health, and a cleansing potion in order to, uh, you know, if I get, like, uh, some negative effects that I want to clear off. So, let's, uh, there's a deathmonger right there. Let's start, uh, start killing these guys. So, let's speed up my spells and start shooting these, uh, bolts at them. And I couldn't dodge that, so if you if I was out of that circle, I'd, I'm assuming I wouldn't have gotten frozen there and hit, but a little slow there. There's my heal. And each, like, if I were to get a different staff or different um, uh, weapons, armor, and things like that, like, I would get to choose different abilities. So these are just the abilities that I chose from what was available with the staff that I'm using. So I'm going to kill the, the enemies that aren't even the deathmongers, for example, the swordsmen, just because they drop some pretty good silver, and I want to be able to, um, I kind of want to farm up a little bit here, and I might need to kill them anyways in order to get to the next one. So, uh, no, don't want those. Grab some chestnut logs here. I'm not going to craft and or gather a lot in this video. I just figure, um, I'm here. I might as well pick up a little bit while I'm, while they're right there. Kill this archer. There's my auto attack, by the way. If I were to ever run out of mana. There's my shield, if you wanted to take a look at that. So now I'm absorbing the damage. And wow, these are actually tier 4 uh, rocks. I haven't seen these yet. So I'm just going to pick up a couple of these. And then when I'm done killing everything, I'll probably come back here and uh, skip ahead. A little bit because I do want to pick up uh, some of this stuff before I leave but I'm, I'm not gonna make you guys watch all this I'm just gonna pick up a couple here and there, yeah because there's even tier 4 stone so don't worry I'm I'm not gonna show a lot of this I just wanted to pick a few up and I'll come back here later all right so let's go see if we can find more of these death mongers in this uh, like uh, castle sort of ruins type deal 
You gotta be careful because those guys can actually attack you from up top there. Alright, there's a Deathmonger. I don't really want to get hit by this other one, so let's try and kind of position ourselves over here in the corner. And as you can see, I'm in my ice block right now, so I kind of dodge his attack. But I can't attack. I can't attack while I'm, um, you know, immune as well. So throw out my shield there. But yeah, the combat right now is pretty repetitive. Um, there's not like, ooh, 189 silver. That's pretty good. Um, there's not like a lot of skill shots and like it's not very difficult to kill things right now but you know like with any game I'm assuming the the further up you go the the harder stuff is going to be and then um, obviously there's also player combat which is uh, not going to be easy to kill another player yeah these guys have some pretty good silver on them right now So we need to find four more Deathmongers here. Let's go up here. Kill the Swordsmen, maybe find some uh, some Deathmongers later. And also, I forgot to mention, you can see that little hourglass it says 3 hours 54 minutes. I'm assuming that's the amount of time I have to complete this quest. Uh, normally these quests don't take anywhere near the amount of time that they give you. Uh, but I guess if you got sidetracked doing something else, you could come back and, and finish it later. So hopefully there's some uh, some of these quest mobs up here. Oh, and to go along with um, some timing and stuff, after you accept and complete a quest, you have it kind of has like a cooldown. You have to wait a certain amount of hours before you can get another quest from those people. So even though uh, after I complete this quest, I can go back and grab the other quest that was available. After I complete that, I might need to wait like five hours before I can accept another quest from those specific. Uh, quest givers, so I'd have to go to another area and find another quest somewhere else. Kind of prevents you from farming the same place all day, I guess. Forces you to sort of move around. You can also see that uh, after I'm killing these guys, I'm getting some fame, which will help me level up uh, my staffs and armors. It looks like there's a cave here. I'll check out the cave, but I don't think I'm going to actually, uh, you know, do the cave right now. It might be kind of... It might be kind of hard as well. But this actually, this one looks pretty cool. This is the coolest cave I've seen so far. Very dark. And it looks like there's some there's some enemies over there, but they got, they, they look like they're better than normal. Yeah, I don't know, 4,000 health, but there's a couple of them. I'm, I'm not going to deal with the, the cave right now. Maybe in another another video, I'll, I'll group up with someone and go in the cave. I just don't want to die. And you, as you just saw that little burst of speed, that was my the ability on my boots to sprint, the plus 100% speed for three seconds. So show that off a little bit. Yeah, this is not a bad place right now. There doesn't seem to be a lot of people here. They're dropping around 100 silver or so. Uh, there's some good uh, resources. It's not that far away from my uh, queen's market my kind of like my home base so yeah i can see myself coming back here for a, a decent while just to farm up some material get some silver and and just uh yeah just kill some stuff here's a deathmonger kind of pull him away from the other guy there dodge that with our block like ml some mlg shit right there <laughs> on kidding I really want to find a better tier 4 I, I want to find a tier 4 staff but I'd like to find a, like a, a staff that's a little different than holy just to see the other abilities but I can't craft one I really don't feel like putting in the time to craft one yet and uh, there don't seem to be any on the auction house right now there's a lot of tier 4 like uh, I've seen a tier 4 plate stuff tier 4 throwing knives and an axe a shield in a bow, but I haven't seen a tier 4, uh, well actually I've seen one tier 4 staff and it was a holy staff, but the abilities were all healing, so it didn't even have a damage spell. So I didn't really want to buy that, and that was pretty expensive too, I think it was up there for like 20,000 silver, that's basically my entire, <laughs> that's, that's my entire, uh, wallet. So I need to kill one more cursed deathmonger here, and then I can go turn in the quest, grab some sigils, and, uh, and move on from there. And also, 
Uh, right now, I don't really have a use for sigils unless I want to start uh, getting armor from leather armor or plate armor for, you know, to level up some other sets. But right now, I just want to focus on my, my cloth. So I have no use for these royal sigils. Uh, as you can see, I'm eating some food here in case you want to see what that looked like. But, um, yeah, so what I can do is I can take the royal sigils that I get from these quests and I can actually sell them on the auction house. And then people that don't feel like putting in the time for these quests can then buy the royal sigils and use those to get their own armor. And I think the, the sigils are kind of the best way, the, the sort of the fastest way and easiest way to get tier 4 right from the very beginning. But uh, you kind of only get... How do I want to say this? Like, you don't really get a reward in the long run. Like, if you can learn to craft tier 4, then that's going to help you out. Because then eventually you can craft tier 5 and you can constantly keep making them. Whereas the Royal Sigil is like, yeah, you get it quickly and you can use it for combat, which is nice. But you're not really going to gain any, uh... You're not going to really gain anything extra. Looks like there's some other players farming up here. And I'm going to kill this Deathmonger up here. Even though I won't be able to... I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm going to kind of miss out on some silver, but that's okay. Let's just finish our quest and make it back to, uh, our main town. <clears throat> having a little ranged battle here i'm actually dropping really low yeah i can't get holy sh okay i need to i need to move heal up i'm get oh because i was being attacked by that archer that's why ah oh, shit <laughs> all right if you die if i die this is gonna suck let's shield up because if you die you're dur you take a big durability hit get that heal in do some MLG 360. That was the equivalent of MLG 360 no scope right there. Okay, eat our food. Alright, so I'm going to um, go around and craft some of this, this material that I wanted to uh, get. But I'm going to sort of skip ahead. I'm not going to make you guys watch me sit here for, you know, 5 to 10 minutes while I mine all this ore. So when i am filled up my inventory, I will, uh, I will be back. All right, getting the last chestnut logs here. And as you can see, my guy's moving real slow right now because I have a lot of weight. It's also nighttime. The The day has changed. And, uh, yeah, my weight's 150, so I'm going to have to mount up here. And once I mount up, it looks like I'm all set to go. Now I'm going to go turn in the quest, get my reward, my, my reputation points, my silver, my sigils. And then I'm going to make the journey back to Queen's Market where I can show you guys uh, how to use the auction house real quick. And um, I kind of want to check out that little demon mark down there. I think I know it's like a big monster that I can't kill, but I kind of just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any questions, I mean, I'm by no means a pro at this game. I've only been playing for three days, but I figured out a lot of stuff. Uh, you can watch my Albion Online Basics video. Uh, I'm going to have some video. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to have a video about uh, building some things. You can check that out. If you have any questions, you can just, you know, ask me in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. And, yeah, so, there you go. Just checking out this shield real quick. I really wish you could buy a tier 4 staff. You can get a royal shield, sword, and bow, but not a staff. That's kind of, kind of crappy. So, yeah, let's go back to Travel to Queen's Market here. And this is where I was in Broadwood, as I just showed you on the map. And uh, I'm going to go check out that little uh, demon symbol, and then I'm going to fast forward the uh, the journey back to Queen's Market. This horse sound, the... the the uh, the clanking, it's kind of cool, but after a while, it, it gets really like annoying. All right, so there it is. There's a demon guy up there on top of my screen with that symbol over him. Yeah, thirty seven thousand health. I can not, yeah, I need a like a raid or a group to kill that guy. But yeah, I'm gonna fast forward it now, so it should be kind of funny actually. Not sure what the horse is gonna sound like. <laughs> oh yeah. Damn, my, my horse ate a little bit too many beans beans for breakfast this morning. Gas powered, if you know what I mean. What if the game was actually this speed? That'd be crazy. Be too much lag though. 
<laughs> I don't know why that the horse sound is so funny to me right now. But yeah, there's no fast travel in this game other than I guess you could go to your island and you could take a you could pay some money to take a trip to another major town. But other than that, there's really no fast travel. You're kind of all uh, um, by mount. There's no flying. There's no teleporting or anything like that. So uh, it can be annoying when you're making big trips back and forth. But it adds a whole new element to the game where you really have to like focus on what you want to do, uh, like how efficiently you want to do it, where you want to set up your base, sort of. And uh, it's annoying, but you kind of learn to love it. You grow to love it, rather. All right, so here we are back at the Queen's Market. I'm going to go deposit my stuff, and I'll quickly show you guys the auction house. <clears throat> so this is sort of the town that's kind of the most developed currently in Alpha's day three or four. I'm not sure exactly. And uh, here's my bank. So let's deposit some stuff. I'm, I'm going to make a video after this one, and I'm going to show my private island, my alchemy lab that I built on my plot of land. They're nothing special. They're just, you know, your basic... Uh, starting ones but i figured i'd want to uh just do a quick little video uh, to show how that's done uh i'll sell this ore i'm not using ore for anything soon but those uh blocks up there this the uh i forget what they're called but the uh the quarry blocks those are can be used to upgrade my building so so if you want to sell something you can go in your inventory and click sell you can see if you want to sell them immediately for that price of five you could just click sell and bam there you go but that's 95 percent below average so otherwise you can create your own thing it says right there the lowest competing price is 20, so I can make mine 15 and undercut them, and I can sell it. Same with Royal Sigils. I can sell them right now for 65, or I could sell them for, we could undercut this guy for, uh, by putting 275. Now, when um, someone buys my stuff, it just instantly goes to my my wallet, or my, uh, my silver, and then I get a mail that notifies me just to say that, hey, you, uh, you know, you sold this. So you don't need to come back here and pick up your money or anything like that. Um, you can also, if you want to buy something, you can search by different categories and tiers. And then you can just, you can click buy. And after you buy something, you can go over to complete and then pick up the item that you just bought. Also, I believe that auction houses are not global either. So the auction house here will be different than the auction house somewhere else. So that's the little neat element we got going on. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned some things. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, uh, feel free to let me know. You can hit the subscribe button if you want. And thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you all for the next video.